munchkins and viewers alike. It is me, Munchie, and thank you for tuning back into another one of my Munchie vlogs. Today, actually yesterday, I had quite an experience at my workplace. As I've told you in a previous video or two, I work with pets and I work at a pet store. The reason why I'm so amped up, there were certain unfortunate events that occurred. So the event I want to talk to you guys about is somebody stole a red ear slider turtle. What? How did this happen? Well, glad you asked because a customer came into my work yesterday around 3 p.m. and he asked me, hey, this is gonna sound random and weird, but we have a turtle and we want you to identify it. And I asked them and I said, okay, how did you find this turtle? What happened? Did somebody just leave it in a tank outside? What happened? And he said, yes and no. Well, we stole it. What? So you're telling me you stole a turtle right to my face. Better be a good damn explanation. So he told me, oh, we were renting a room for a couple days, him and his girlfriend came in. And oh, we noticed that the homeowner had like a lizard and a turtle and the turtle was in a body of shallow water and it looked like it was dead, but then it was not dead. So we decided we would be heroes, not quoting them, but I mean, this is just kind of a douchebag representation of what they said. We're gonna be heroes and we're gonna save it without doing any research, without knowing exactly what it needs. They just assumed that the turtle was being mistreated. So they took it and they put it in a cat carrier, aquatic turtle in a cat carrier. Anyways, I identified the turtle as being a red ear slider aquatic turtle. And I said, the reason why it was in water is because it's an aquatic turtle. And so after letting him know that he just stole probably an old turtle, I mean, turtles, they don't need to be fast. They don't need to be moving constantly. If it's just, you know, floating around in the water, that's fine. It could just be an old turtle. You don't know anything. Assuming again that this turtle was in dire need, they, they just stole it. So I wanted them to return it. Obviously that was not going to be the case with them. So they asked me about what type of environment it needs, what type of tank, supplies, all of that. And because I was going to lunch, I actually had to shift it to my manager. And I was getting this weird vibe from them because even though they were listening and they were content, I was just wondering what's going on. The girlfriend was not really eye contacting me. She was looking away. She was looking around, not being very caring, if you would. The guy was more interested in what I had to say. So I just shifted it to my manager, but I got the weird feeling that I should come back and maybe take a picture of this guy because maybe somebody who really cares about their turtle is looking for their turtle because this douchebag stole it. So I just slipped by and I'm like, oh, hey, so-and-so, I'm gonna take my snap lunch now. So I'll see you later. And I got a picture of him for you here. I'm gonna keep this up on my video because he's a douchebag and I will tell you why I really hate this individual. So as I was going to lunch, I heard that the guy said, oh, I'm not gonna actually buy anything. I could buy it for cheaper online but thank you for giving me the gist of it so I know and I was just praying to God that that turtle will be all right I'm like oh please oh please oh please oh please oh please be all right because at this point I am concerned with the turtle's health I'd rather the turtle be okay it's a douchebag thing to do to steal people's turtles that don't belong to you but hey I was hoping that turtle would be okay so about three hours after they came in around six o'clock I was at the front counter checking people out there's three people in line and the guy comes back and and I'm wondering to myself, huh, is he actually gonna buy something? Did he not find what he was looking for online that he could buy for cheap? Whatever. So I looked at him and I'm like, wait a minute, something's not right here. Cause he's going in the very back where the tanks are. And I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a weird vibe, but I can't stop what I'm doing cause I'm the only person up front and I was checking people out. So as soon as I turned my back, I heard something. I heard a commotion. He grabbed the tank, the aquatic tank we showed him earlier and and he started running out the door with it. And I scream, I'm like, hey, come, I don't know why he said it, but I was like, hey, come back here. And that freaked him the fuck out. And we had like slow opening doors. I was trying to hurry out. And of course his girlfriend is driving the getaway car. I was like, wow, that's a janky ass car. Great. And he runs out the door and gets away. Thankfully, I snapped a picture of him. So at least I had a description of him, something to report, but oh my God, how did I know that guy was going to be a douchebag? How did I know that guy was going to turn out to be a criminal? Yes, this little punk ass will hopefully get caught, will hopefully have karma coming to him because guess what I did? I went on to Craigslist and Facebook and I posted in my reptile groups, my lost and found pets groups. I posted everywhere so that his gosh 
stern, awful looking hairdo and mug would be in the presence of people because guess what? He was looking straight on at me when I took that photo and I don't even think he realizes it. And of course that photo has been handed over to the appropriate authorities, but he has people watching now. And so I posted in these groups, I posted on Craigslist, hey, this guy came in, claimed he stole a turtle, I gave him the whole gist, and this is the getaway car they drove, and this is what he did. If anybody sees him or knows about him, contact me. And if you're the one missing your turtle, please contact me as well. And I got the biggest response from people. I had uh, at least 15 plus shares on one page. I had several like likes and people being super angry, saying, what the heck? And I actually had people contacting me about this individual. He has been flipping pets and animals around for a long time with his friends because he's a part of this flipping group and his parents are apparently in on this and he has siblings so that's even worse to hear about. I found out that he is actually in eastern Washington. I'm in western Washington where Seattle is. Eastern is more like Yakima, Spokane. So he actually frequents there most of all but because he's so well known in Spokane he has actually come over to the west side to prowl around the west side. But I'm so glad that people know who this individual is and to watch out because now all of the pet stores in the area have an idea of what he looks like. That hair, man, all oh, that hair. If he wants to get away with something, he better shave all that off because that is so distinctive. And it's a shame. He's so young to be doing this, flipping pets around. So why am I calling this individual a pet flipper or a flipper? Well, flippers are people who steal animals and resell them for a profit. Unfortunately, it happens a lot with dogs, but a lot of the times people just, they see if a dog is not spayed or neutered, they actually take it and put it into a, like a breeding mill program where they actually produce babies, so nobody's looking for said babies. But they target people based off of people's ignorance not to spay and neuter their dog, especially a purebred dog, or especially a dog that is desired, like Huskies, German Shepherd mixes, things like that. So if the dog looks like something that is desired, they can make a profit on it. Same with flippers. If they see something that can make a profit, they go for it. And unfortunately for flippers, they tend to target, say, pet stores to steal these equipments. Now these guys are small animal flippers. They're not the big pet flippers like cats and dogs, but the way they actually get their animals is they look on Craigslist or look on anywhere that says free to good home animals and take them and then flip them and make a profit. This is why I advocate so much for Craigslist people to not be listing free to go home pets because people take them, they make a profit. There are some good people, but I've been telling you guys lately, I've been seeing some really bad eggs and there are tons of it on Craigslist. It is the most toxic and polluted. And of course, when you try to warn the community, your post gets flagged so many times by flippers, by people stealing that this is their income and they don't want you to get that information out to anybody else. So that's the problem. It's just people, they're not educated. They're not aware. They think that, oh, well, free to good home means that, you know, somebody can come along very quickly and take the animal. No, at least have a rehoming fee. It's still better than nothing because people are so ignorant thinking that the world out there is full of rainbows and sunshines and nothing bad will happen. I found on YouTube a video where a person was in the news saying that they just listed their dog free to good home and then they checked back on Craigslist after the dog, you know, happy given away to a lady with children saying she'll care for it, that the dog gets turned around and flipped for a profit. And unfortunately, those types of situations, people are not criminals. They can just do whatever they want with the dog. And that's the unfortunate part because in some states, flipping is not illegal. It's illegal if you steal it and then flip it to try to make a profit, but it's legal when they can secure the dog, animal, pet without any stealing involved. But it's still a very cruel and effed up situation that I just wish people would look more into it and people would realize, wait, this is my baby I had for so long. If I really want to give it a good home, I would probably invest into this animal and let it have an adoption fee so that maybe a good person comes along and takes it. Because good people, they want to invest in an animal. They want to invest in a companion. So what's the problem with having a small rehoming fee? Now, anything like on Craigslist above 
above $100 or $200 depending on if it's a cat, a dog, a type of small pet or an exotic bird. The rehoming fee should be smaller, should not be any higher than like $250 because that is breeding price tag right there. So that is a breeder wishing to sell. I really want to educate people. So that is what a flipper is. And since this guy has really ticked me off with that face of his, I have decided to keep posting even if my posts get expired. I will keep posting for a very long time in hopes that if anyone lists a tank and a red ear slider and it looks like the tank set that was stolen and it looks to be in like brand new condition, it's weird and the price for the listing is way high, I know I'll have my guy. But that is my story for today. I hope nobody out there has had to deal with a person like this, a pet flipper before, but it is just awful when you hear about it. And if you guys have never heard about this before and this is your first time actually learning about a pet flipper, leave a comment below. I would love to know how many people out there I've helped today. And if you enjoyed this video, hit like to show support as well as to subscribe if you would like to see more from me. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I seriously want to strangle him. I know, I know. If I see him again, I will punch that little in the face.